The movie began a prestigious pool championship held at the Calcutta Gymnasium in 1994. At that time, there was a semi-final match between Berman and Tulsidas. Tulsidas himself is one of the most talented billiard players who got many fans and in every match, he is always accompanied by his small family who never tire to support him. Furthermore, Tulsidas' second child named Mitty is very enthusiastic when he sees his father competing. Before starting his match, he had a habit of flipping his glasses first just to comfort his son. But despite his ridiculousness, Toolset has got such an extraordinary ability that he is able to defeat Berman casually, and after winning the match while holding his son confidently, Toolset has told the son that the next day he got his victory, Mehdi would bring a trophy for him. Then before Toolset and his family returned home, he was invited by his partner to go to a bar to celebrate his victory, which was opposed by his wife, considering they had to go to the wedding invitation immediately. But because Toolset is himself is a person who likes to consume alcohol, he immediately promised his wife that he would go home soon. Therefore, Toolset has asked his wife to wait for him at home wearing a red sari to look more beautiful. Shortly thereafter, when Toolset's wife was waiting for her husband's return, her first child named Godi insisted on asking her mother for money to use to go to the night market with Mitty. But because his mother did not give her the amount of money he wanted, Godi also used Mitty so that they could get more money by asking her mother for money for various reasons. Then after successfully getting the money, the two of them immediately went to the night market to try a balloon shooting game, and if they managed to hit the balloon three times then they had the opportunity to get a very attractive prize. But when Godi had succeeded in shooting two balloons, the man immediately acted fraudulently so that Godi failed the third attempt. But it turned out that Mitty had realized his cheating, that is why when he was given the opportunity to play he also pointed his gun at the man, which ultimately made everyone there angry because they felt cheated. When they arrived home, his mother even looked gloomy because until late night, Tulsidas did not return home. Soon they got a call from someone informing them that Tulsidas could not return home due to drinking too much. After hearing this, his wife ordered Godi to immediately pick up his father, but because Godi refused, Mehdi finally went to pick up his father. Then when they arrived at the house, Tulsidas' wife immediately expressed all her disappointment, but because Tulsidas was already drunk, he didn't really pay attention to his wife's words and instead immediately left her asleep. The next day, Tulsidas felt so guilty he tried to persuade his wife by complimenting the tea she served. It seems succeeded in making his wife smile again. Long story short, before the final match started, the players and the committee first had a photo session in the courtyard of the Calcutta Sports Hall, and at that time, Godi confirmed to Mitty that their father would not win against Jimmy Tendon in the final match because Jimmy was the defending champion who would never be defeated, so his name was always recorded on the championship board every year. But this statement was immediately denied by Mitty, considering that his father had promised that he would be the one who would get the trophy this year. However, during the break time, Jimmy took advantage of Toolsita's weakness by inviting him to drink alcohol together. This made Mitty feel very anxious, then he immediately returned to his mother with a look full of sadness. Soon the match continued, and because Toolsita has consumed too much alcohol, he was no longer able to play as usual, which made him have to suffer a very embarrassing defeat. Toolset has immediately broke his billiard stick to vent all his emotions. Meanwhile, with the victory Jimmy just won, now he is getting bigger and bigger with his record, which is becoming champion for six consecutive years, starting from 1989 to 1994. It seemed that Mitty couldn't accept the defeat of Toolset, considering that his father had been defeated in a fraudulent way. That's why Mitty felt so sad that he could no longer hold back his tears, but from that, Mitty already had the determination to take part in the game of billiards. But unfortunately, because of his young age, he was not allowed to play billiard in the Calcutta Sports Hall. Suvim and an amateur billiard player named Tutu came, a unique and funny man, so no one was willing to play with him. When he invited Mitty to accompany him to play, Mitty also felt very happy considering that it was a great opportunity for him, but unfortunately, before Mitty could hit the ball, Jimmy had already come to stop him with the excuse that he didn't want a child to ruin his pool table. Despite his ridiculous behavior, Tutu turns out to be a committee member in charge there so he could easily grant Mitty a playing license according to the time he had set. But when Mitty had managed to get his license, Godi even forbade him to play billiards because Godi believes that Mitty has talent in other sports that's why Godi wanted his brother to become an athlete in a sport that could make a lot of money later, while he would support him by becoming his manager. But after enrolling his younger brother in various sports such as cricket and tennis, it turned out that none of them were able to be mastered by Mitty until finally there was a number one equestrian coach in India who was willing to train him. It made Godi feel very happy because he was sure that soon they would have a lot of money. But the next day, when Godi picked him up to start the training, Mitty deliberately avoided by allocating to help his teacher carry books into his car. Even Mitty also asked the teacher, 
for help to deliver him to the Calcutta Sports Hall because that day, Mitty had been scheduled to play with Tutu there. Mitty immediately came to Godi to tell him that he would be able to make Godi rich by playing billiards because in that match there would be many people who would bet. That's why Mitty begged Godi to register him to become a member of one of the Pat Billiards so that he could practice the game. Upon arriving home, Godi immediately explained to Mitty that there were two billiard paps available in two different locations, namely in Wellington and Charingi. After making a decision, the next day they immediately went to Charingi to register for Mitty, but because they did not get good treatment, they finally decided to go to Wellington, even though they had never been there. It turned out that Wellington was a slum inhabited by middle-class residents, that's why the billiard pool there is very different from the billiard pool they often visit. When they went inside, Modi immediately looked for information on how much it would cost him if he wanted to register his brother there, but the most important thing for Godi was how much prize he would get if he won during the match. Then after knowing that they would only get one egg and bread, Godi asked his brother to leave there immediately. But because Mitty kept insisting, the next day when Godi returned to pick up Mitty at his school, he also brought a surprise in the form of a registration form, so that Mitty could become a member there even Godi also gave some money, so that Mitty could go there alone. Then it was at this moment when Mitty explained to Godi that their father's billiard stick had been repaired. Therefore, he would need money for repairs and after taking his father's billiard stick, Mitty went to Wellington alone. However, upon arrival he was not allowed to play because only the seniors were allowed to play. Therefore, he was advised to come back tomorrow morning when the condition was quiet. But the next day when Mehdi was there, again he was not allowed to play because the place had already been booked by someone else, namely a man who always sleeps with a cloth covering his face. The man was not an ordinary man because based on the workers there, it turned out that he was a former Indian national champion named Muhammad Salam. Then, along with the explanation that already said, finally Muhammad Salam woke up with a very sharp gaze, looked at the billiard table, and before he played, Muhammad Salam had the habit of enjoying a beetle first which he kept in a box. Then at the same time the man on duty there explained again to Mitty that Muhammad Salam would always play for one hour then go back to sleep for one hour. In fact, during the time he was there, no one dared to fight him. Long story short, after seeing Muhammad Salam's greatness in playing billiards, Mitty felt so amazed that he was even more excited to come to the training ground, but it seemed Muhammad Salah was not a friendly person where he could just slap others when he felt disturbed while playing. But even so, Mitty still admires him. That's because in order for him to understand how to play billiard correctly, he chose to follow all of Muhammad Salam's movements, but unfortunately, he still couldn't practice the basic tricks that Muhammad Salam did until soon Muhammad Salam came to him to improve Mitty's hand position when he wanted to hit the ball. It proved effective because Mitty could immediately practice the basic technique very well. Meanwhile, because Gobi assumed that his brother already had the ability, without thinking, he immediately registered Mitty to participate in the match in the hope that he would get benefits. But unfortunately, his expectations were too high so when Mitty suffered defeat, Gody felt very angry. In fact, he even confirmed that he would never again spend money on Mitty's training. Then from then on, the relationship between them began to be bad and because the savings he got were still not enough for training, he had asked his mother for extra money, but unfortunately Mitty did not get it even the rest of his savings was forcibly taken by Godi as compensation for the money Godi had spent. It made Mitty feel so desperate that he could only sit on the side of the road mourning his fate. Then there was one of Mitty's neighbors who asked for his help to carry his luggage. And after hearing that, the man was willing to give him money for that. Mitty immediately helped him, remembering that it was his great opportunity to earn money. But what he did was known directly by Tulsidas, so he was immediately interrogated by his mother. But because his mother didn't want Mitty to do the job anymore, finally his mother was willing to give the money he wanted. Long story short, at the training ground Mitty began to dare to come to Muhammad Salam to ask what was the reason he always slept before playing billiards. Hearing this, Muhammad Salam did not immediately give an answer, and instead asked Mitty to try it, so that he could know the answer himself. Then without thinking, Mitty immediately practiced using a piece of cloth that he had prepared in his pocket and an hour had passed. When Mini woke up again, he immediately tried to play billiard which turned out he was able to enter some balls well enough and it made him feel very surprised. After the incident, Mini always followed Muhammad Salam, so that he was willing to be his coach, but this actually made Muhammad Salam feel very annoyed because he could not concentrate on playing. But after hearing that Mitty's reason for wanting to play pool was to defeat Jimmy's cheating, Muhammad Salam began to change his mind, so he immediately asked Mitty to come back tomorrow to start his first training. Hearing this, a smile of happiness began to shine on Mitty's face because now he has the opportunity to become a professional player. 
Then the next day, when Minnie said that his game improved after falling asleep, Muhammad Salah finally explained that when they were in a dark room and then moved to a place which is full of light, then their vision would be much sharper, which is why he always covered his face with a piece of cloth when he was asleep. In his first training, Mehdi was able to attract the attention of everyone who was there because it was also the first time Muhammad Salam was willing to train others in detail. But when he arrived home, Mehdi was surprised by the words of his mother who had planned a vacation out of town for three weeks, and after knowing that it was Godi's idea, Mehdi immediately came to him to ask what was Godi's reason for doing that. But it seemed that Godi didn't really care about Mehdi's words because his gaze was on a beautiful woman who was there. Mehdi felt very annoyed which resulted in him not being able to focus on practicing until the next day when Mehdi was undergoing exams at his school, he deliberately crossed out all the answer sheets he had filled out in order to get bad grades because then Mehdi had an excuse not to go on vacation with his family because he had to take extra lessons. Meanwhile, in order not to cancel his family vacation, Mehdi told his mother that Godi would leave to replace him. Then when Mehdi wanted to deliver a letter to the Calcutta Gymnasium, one of the officers who was there explained that in recent days, Godi had always come to swim throughout the day and after hearing about it, Mitty decided to go inside to prove it. Then when he saw Godi was swimming together with a woman, Mitty immediately took a photo of them together so that Godi would obey all his requests. So finally, Godi was forced to go on vacation with his family, while Mitty had the opportunity to continue to focus on training during the school holidays. In his training sessions, Mohamed Salah told that in playing billiard, there was no such thing as luck. Therefore, Mehdi only needed to play well, so Muhammad Salam trained him again by using a different trick, where he had to enter the ball in the corner using his left hand because every hand owned by humans always got many benefits. Then after successfully doing so, Mehdi decided to immediately return to his home considering that that day his parents would soon return home. But on the way back home, Mehdi accidentally dropped his father's billiard stick, making the billiard stick break due to being run over by a passing train and the incident made Mehdi feel very sad. However, he chose not to tell his family, while at the same time, Godi came to him to thank him because by going on vacation, he could get more money that he got from winning horse racing bets. That's why when Mitty explained about his broken stick, Godi promised to give him a new one with the money he had. The next day, when Mitty saw that his father's match form had been sent home, he immediately came to the Calcutta Gymnasium to collect the form because he had intended to participate in this year's championship. However, the guard on duty there forbade him again because of Mitty's age, so Tudor tried to help him by taking Mitty directly with the chief organizer, who is often referred to as Mr. President, but it seemed to be useless, because Mitty was still not allowed to participate for similar reasons. Then shortly after Mitty arrived home, his mother got a call from someone that was informing her that Toolsiders was now consuming a lot of alcohol and hearing this, Mitty immediately went to pick up his father as he often does, while at the same time when Tutu told that Mitty had intended to register for the game that year in a semi-conscious state, Toolsiders immediately came to Mr. President so that his son was given the opportunity to play. Because although Mighty would lose his first match, at least he would make him happy. However, Toolsiders' statement even made Jimmy laugh, making Toolsiders feel very angry. That's why before he returned home, Toolsiders chose to challenge someone to a battle in a game of billiards just to vent his emotions. But in the middle of the game, Toolsiders decided to leave and give up his money casually. Then after hearing what his father did, Godi who felt angry without thinking immediately went there to finish the match where Mehdi would replace his father to play. When he saw Mehdi's playing ability, Mr. President finally decided to allow him to participate in the Billiard Championship that year. In fact, he himself signed his registration form, where in the championship Mehdi named himself as Toolsiders Jr., while as a form of support for his younger brother. A few days before the championship started, Godi had given a gift to Mitty, and he also promised to come to Wellington to repair his father's broken stick, because Gotti just realized that what had been done all this time was just to maintain their father's good name. However, because Mitty always went out of the house every day, his mother began to feel suspicious, so she chose to follow Mitty secretly, until finally when she arrived at Billiard's place, she asked Mitty to leave immediately, because she assumed that the environment was not a good environment for young children. However, shortly before they left, Muhammad Salam explained to his mother that for the past 11 months, Mitty had always come to train. So while covering his hands, Muhammad Salah begged him to allow Mitty to achieve his dream and the words seemed to melt his mother's heart, so he finally allowed Mitty to continue training there without having to worry. Meanwhile, before doing his training, Mitty had asked Muhammad Salam if he would be willing to come to see him compete tomorrow, considering that it was Muhammad Salam who contributed most in the playing billiards training. But unfortunately, Muhammad Salam refused, because he would only come if Mitty made it to the final. Long story short, the Billiard Championship finally began where in the opening match Mitty was directly faced against a player named Sonny Kakhar, 
and thanks to the training he had been undergoing, Matty was able to win his first match. In fact, he also managed to win in the next matches. Because in the third match, Mitty met with Tuju whose ability was very different, but Mitty's victory actually made Tuju feel so proud that he told everyone that he was the one who had trained Mitty. However, after defeating Tuju, Mitty had to meet a fairly difficult opponent where he had to face his Berman whose ability was extraordinary. However, on the day of the match, Berman arrived there past the time limit set by the committee, allowing Mitty to win the match without having to fight him. In fact, he and Godi had a chance to mock Berman before he left. However, unfortunately, the victory actually made Muhammad Salam feel very angry because he appreciated losing the match more than having to win that way. Then, in order for Mitty to understand the meaning of what he meant, Muhammad Salam finally explained that back in 1981, he fought hard just to get into the national championship. But shortly before the final match started, he was not allowed to play for various reasons, even the organizers had offered him some money so that he would not come to the final. However, at that time, he insisted to keep coming there until finally he managed to win the match. However, for Mohammed Salam, victory was not the most important thing, because he came just to keep playing. Hearing this, Mehdi began to understand the reason why his teacher felt so angry. That's why Mehdi looked very sorry. Then when Mehdi arrived home, Godi immediately came to him to tell him that he would fight his own father in the semifinals. Then, wanting to do sportsmanship, Mitty asked his father to come to the match without consuming alcohol and act like a man. In fact, Mitty also begged his father not to touch his alcohol anymore, because he didn't want to see his mother sad because his father always came home drunk so they always slept in different rooms. The next day, the semi-final match began. Toolsiders hit the balls while when Mitty got the chance to play, Toolsiders was very surprised by his son's greatness. Confusion mixed with joy is now felt by Toolsiders and in the first half, they closed it with the same score too, before finally being given a break for 15 minutes. This is where Toolset has asked where Mitty's ability came from, but Mitty only gave an answer as if his father was the greatest in the game. Then shortly afterwards, when they continued their match, suddenly Jimmy arrived because it turned out that he had managed to win the match first, and he was confirmed to enter the grand final. At the same time, when Toolset has had a great chance to win his match, he made the mistake of inserting a white ball by purpose and making Mitty declare as the winner. But this made Mitty feel very disappointed because he realized that his father did it on purpose. But in order to make Mitty not misunderstand, Tulsa has explained that Mitty had indeed won. That's why he promised never to touch alcohol again as desired. Hearing his words, Mitty's mother also felt very moved, while Tulsa has even mocked Jimmy by signaling that tomorrow he would fight his son. After the match, Mitty came to Muhammad Salam because when fighting his father, he found it very difficult to get his last ball in. Hearing that, Muhammad Salam also explained that many people he met always started something very well, but unfortunately, they had difficulty in the ending. Just like Mitty always leaves his drinks and food, that's why Muhammad Salam advised Mitty to get used to completing all the little things in his life, and from then on, Mitty never again did the food waste, so that it made his mother feel very happy. The next day, when Mitty just woke up from his sleep, he looked very happy when he found a very nice outfit, which turned out to be deliberately prepared by his parents, so that Mitty could wear it in the grand final against Jimmy. But before the match started, Mitty was interviewed first, but he only answered his question by saying that he just wanted to play. Soon, when Mitty was a point behind, he stared towards the entrance because at that time, Muhammad Salam was forbidden to enter by the guards, but after everyone began to realize that he was a former national champion, he was very welcome there. In fact, Mitty's family also immediately came to him as a form of respect and gratitude, considering that Muhammad Salam had taught Mitty. With the presence of the teacher, it seemed to be more enthusiasm for Mitty so that he could catch up. In fact, he was also able to close the first half with a score of 3-1 to one before finally, the players were allowed to rest for 15 minutes, but that's when Jimmy cheated again like he had done to Toolsiders, where he deliberately grasped Mitty's finger so hard that it made him feel very painful. However, Mitty chose not to tell anyone even though Muhammad Salam was aware that there was something Mitty was hiding. As a result, Mitty could not play as well as in the first half, so that finally made Jimmy able to catch the score to 3 even. Unable to see Mitty in such condition, Muhammad Salah decided to leave even though the match was not over. However, just before he left, he wiped his face using a small towel from his pocket and after seeing this, Mitty began to realize that it was a clue. Therefore, he immediately lied down and covered his face using a piece of white cloth so that everyone who was there felt very confused about what he was doing. Shortly before the match continued, Mitty headed out of the room, and it turned out that he only wanted to take his father's billiard stick that had been repaired. Then just before Mitty entered his last black ball, he had time to stare at Jimmy who at that time looked very agitated, and finally the black ball was successfully entered. It made him officially declared as the winner. This success is also the biggest success for the Toolsiders family, and after winning the match, 
Mitty immediately ran to his training ground to meet Muhammad Salam, where his victory was immediately welcomed by everyone who was there. That's why Muhammad Salam immediately treated all of his friends as a form of celebration for Mitty's victory. While on the other hand, because of the absence of Mitty there, it was the family who came forward to receive the trophy so that tears of happiness could not be restrained anymore. It also reminded Tulsidas of his remarks that he had made about the trophy that would be given directly by Mitty, which turned out to be a prayer, not a promise. Along with that, the movie came to an end.